Karibu kwenye channel ya Dr. Mero Lectures tunafundisha masomo ya sayansi, physics, chemistry, mathematics pamoja na biology kwa syllabus ya Tanzania na kwa level pamoja na advanced level. Dr. Mero Lectures for your better next exams performance subscribe share and like this video uh, karibuni wanafunzi wangu ambao mnaangalia channel ya Dr. Mlelo na leo tunaanza topic ya kwanza ya form 2 ambayo ni oxygen topic ya kwanza ya form 2 ambayo ni oxygen kwenye chemistry na kwenye oxygen tunafahamu kwamba oxygen ni gesi ambayo tunayotumia kuivuta na is used in different purposes asa asa hata kwenye hospitalini ndio gesi ambayo inatumika kwa ajili ya kuwawekea wagonjwa ukisikia mgonjwa anapumulia mashine maana yake anakuwa anatumia oxygen kwa hiyo sasa oxygen ndio ambayo tunaenda kuiangalia hapa leo tunaenda kuiangalia hapa leo sikio leo tunaenda kuangalia hii oxygen so oxygen by introduction oxygen is the gas that form about 21% by volume of the air about 21% by volume of the air lakini tuangalie kwanza preparation laboratory preparation of oxygen oxygen ina inaweza kawa ina njia nyingi za kuprepare lakini tuangalie kwanza chache uh, njia ya kwanza ya kuprepare oxygen ni decomposition of hydrogen peroxide decomposition of hydrogen peroxide kwa hiyo usio na shaka kwamba nimetoka form 1 ya hydrogen peroxide sijui nitaanzaje kujua ndo tunaanzia hapa hapa maana yake hydrogen peroxide hii hapa ni compound ambayo yenyewe inaonekana hivi this is the formula for hydrogen peroxide na hapa unaweza kuona tu this is the our formula for hydrogen peroxide formula for hydrogen peroxide kwa inakuwa ni hydrogen mbili oxygen mbili hiyo ndio inaitwa hydrogen peroxide hasa from there hii hapo tunaweza tukai decompose tukai decompose kwa kutumia manganese 4 dioxide manganese 4 dioxide inaitwa catalyst kwa hiyo najua hivyo vitu vyote kwa form 2 ni vipya catalyst ni kitu ambacho kinaongeza speed ya reaction kwa hiyo kwenye hii reaction catalyst wetu ni manganese 4 dioxide. Kwa hiyo usio na shaka yote tunatumia hydrogen peroxide tuna decompose tuna kupata manganese 4 dioxide. Na equation yetu inakuwa kama hivyo hapo hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide tuna kupata water plus oxygen. Hapa tunatumia catalyst. So method of collection inakuwa ni oxygen is collected by downward displacement of water hiyo ndo method of collection taenda kuona kwenye kwenye different methods of collection of gases kwa mfano hiyo inatumia downward displacement of water ziko nyingine zinatumia upward displacement of water kwa hiyo because it is slightly soluble in water hii oxygen kwa sababu yenyewe ni slightly soluble in water kwa inatumia inatumia downward displacement of of water lakini this is the diagram if you are asked to do the diagram for the, for the preparation of oxygen this is the diagram we have the dropping funnel then you put hydrogen peroxide here below we have manganese dioxide and then manganese dioxide or sometimes it is called manganese four oxide manganese four oxide so we have hydrogen peroxide here tuna release inashuka hapa tone kwa tone ikireact na hiyo manganese four oxide inatengeneza oxygen pamoja na water sasa hii oxygen nayo toka huko tutaenda kuona mbele kuna kuna kitu nakita ni dry gas na wet gas that oxygen is wet is not dry tunakuona tutakafika mbele sana sio sasa ni tukifika form 4 kuna topic inaitwa eh kuna topic inaitwa in organic chemistry i mean inaitwa nani metal huko tutaenda kuona kuhusu hizo dry ya gases na different compound ambazo zinatumika katika ku dry gases. hiyo uh, ni njia ya kwanza ya ku prepare oxygen ni kwa kutumia manganese oxide kama catalyst 
kwa kudikompozi nani hydrogen peroxide lakini pia hapa kuna njia ya pili ijaandikwa ijaandikwa hapo tunaweza kutumia potassium chlorate tunaweza kutumia potassium chlorate katika hiyo preparation tunaweza kutumia potassium chlorate na potassium chlorate yenyewe ikidecompose inatengeneza potassium chlorate pamoja na oxygen hasa kwenye hizi noti kwenye hizi noti si kabla sijazituma kwenye telegram group yangu nitaiongeza hiyo njia ya kutumia potassium chlorate so potassium chlorate nayo tunaihiti oxygen can also be prepared by thermal decomposition of potassium chlorate when this compound is heated it decomposes slowly into potassium chloride and oxygen so the reaction can be speeded up by adding a little manganese 4 oxide as catalyst so manganese 4 oxide inatumika kama catalyst tena kwenye reaction ya ya potassium chloride if potassium is heated alone it gives off oxygen but only at fairly high temperature about 100 degrees centigrade but if mixed with manganese 4 oxide gives off oxygen at a much lower temperature and much more readily kwa hiyo hiyo ndio method ya pili ya preparation na kwenye kwenye hizo notes zangu nitaiweka hiyo method pamoja na diagram yake kabla sijazituma kule telegram group eh hizo ni method of preparation and from there tunaangalia properties properties of a properties of oxygen kwenye properties of oxygen kwanza tuanze na na physical properties physical properties of oxygen uh kusu physical properties of oxygen oxygen is colorless tasteless and odorless colorless tasteless and odorless kwa aina rangi au hizo kaionja na pia aina harufu lakini pili it is slightly soluble in cold water slightly soluble in cold water tatu it is denser than air nne it boil at 180 degrees centigrade na ku freeze ina freeze at negative it boil at negative this is negative ya wese manatatu na ina freeze at negative ya mbili kwenye na lakini kwenye chemical properties chemical properties za za oxygen kwanza it support burning pili it is an oxidizing agent tatu it react with metal to form basic oxides nne it react with non metals to form acidic oxides kwa hiyo hivyo ndivyo ambavyo hizo properties zipo lakini tunaweza kuziona kwa undani zaidi pia kuna chemical test chemical test for oxygen oxygen ina related the glowing split glowing split ambayo unaona kabisa hapo kwenye hii diagram kwamba hapa ni kabla reaction ijaanza oxygen ya mna. oxygen ikiwepo huku ndo kulilight kwa hiyo inaonesha kama vile mwanga umeongezeka tukienda kwenye uses uses the oxygen oxygen to make kwenye respiration na wanyama all living organism need oxygen through the process of aerobic respiration ili kuweza kupata energy from food generated by the help of, of, of oxygen lakini pia disused kwenye manufacturing in industry oxygen is used in cutting when manufacturing industry oxygen is used in cutting welding and melting of metals kama ushaisikia wanachomelea kutumia gas because they use oxygen it is capable of generating flame of high temperature which is known as oxyhydrogen flame lakini pia inatumika kwenye transport oxygen is used as an oxidizer for rocket fuel ko rocket fuel fuel inatumika kwa rocket oxygen inatumika kama ni oxidizer lakini pia kwenye healthcare oxygen inatumika kwenye kuatibu wagonjwa ambao hawawezi kupumua vizuri kama nilivyokuambia mwanzo ni kwamba oxygen inaweza kutumika kuatibu wagonjwa ambao hawawezi kupumua vizuri so that's all about oxygen this is the very short period lakini like nitaangalia namna kukirudia hichi kipindi labda kwa bora zaidi ili uweze kuelewa zaidi na pia jambo jingine ni kwamba eh jambo jingine ni kwamba kipindi kinachofuata tutakuwa tunazungumza kuhusu hydrogen usahau ku click link below kwa ajili ya kujoin
my telegram group thank you everybody Asante kwa kuongelea channel ya Dr. Mlelo. Ninaamini umeelewa kipindi na kama umeelewa chochote, waweza kucomment hapo chini. Click link ya kwenye description kujoin Telegram group kwa ajili ya discussion. Usisahau kusubscribe, kushare video kwa marafiki pamoja na kulike video hii.